uh, proof in the second. You can't just start something without an intro. Hey guys. Sorry. Can you not? How about you just sit the right way? Okay. Okay. Hey guys. Um, it's me, Candy, and we're gonna be playing Truth or Dare. So um, yeah. Let's get started. Who's gonna go first? Me. Show no. or dare, Amulet. Shush. That's not what it means. Get off your phone. Hold on, I'm lines. saying hang you with the fam because you said to ha tell everybody that you're with your family. So I was doing you a favor. Oh, thanks. Thanks. Gosh, the lighting's terrible. Get that out of my face. You're going to mess up my stuff. Want to tell scary stories instead? Go ahead. Who we'll go first? Because it ain't going to be me. Wait, what did they say? Oh. Oh. Where? He's still trying to video chat us. Who? Rum is. He's at that me too. Yeah, but he kept on texting her the whole entire time. Mm -hmm. So he was trying to spend time with you and he kept on texting her. No. Even I was her texting. Was? No, I, I was texting. She was texting him her, herself. Okay, you want to tell a scary story? All right, who we'll go first? Me. No, I'm going first. I do. I, I say the best scary stories. I you. I got you. I guess. Okay. Once there was a man, and he went to a garage sale. There was a Furby at the garage sale. The Furby reminded him reminded him of his childhood. So he bought the Furby from the old lady who was running the garage sale. When he took the Furby home, he put it on a shelf in his bedroom. Then he went down. I swear it one more time, I'm going to go through the screen and mess you up. <laughs> he put it on a shelf and he put it, he put the Furby on a shelf when he got home and went downstairs to eat dinner with a friend and watch TV. The friend left and it was pretty late. So the man went upstairs to take a shower and brush his teeth. While the man was brushing his teeth, he heard something thump in his room, as if something fell off of his bed so, or his shelf. So he went into his room and he felt the Furby on the floor, apparently had glowing red eyes. So then he picked up the Furby and it made sound effects. It had a bunch of cracking, cracking, cracking noises that eventually made up the words, bleed, die, bleed, die. The man just thought that there was just something wrong with the Furby, and just all the crackling noises made something like a weird sound or something like that. So then he took out the batteries, put in new ones, and put, turned the Furby off and put it back on the shelf. The man went to bed and he woke up in the middle of the night to a noise and he was feeling something he was feeling something small and fuzzy stepping on him with plastic with plastic with hard plastic feet so he woke up to see the Furby right on his stomach looking right straight at him saying bleed die bleed die the man jumped up as the Furby hit the wall. He didn't grab any shoes. No, he did grab shoes. It took quite a while. It took quite a while to find his sneakers. So the Furby was kind of scaring him while he was trying to find them. He got his phone and his wallet and his keys and ran out. He went into his car and took a drive. He did not know where he was going. He just wanted to go somewhere far away from his home. He stopped somewhere and fell asleep. Then it was about 2.59 p.m. a.m. Almost three o'clock. And everybody knows that at three o'clock, it's the devil's hour at three o'clock at night. And at 
three o'clock in the morning is the devil is the devil's hour. So he woke up to hear the sounds that blue it's blue die, blue die. He looked at his lap with the fairy blue right next with fairy ray on it. The man was so tired that he couldn't do anything but just fall back asleep. In the morning, the Furby was in the other passenger seat, holding a knife. The man couldn't take it anymore. He took the Furby, went back into his house, went back and went in the backyard, started up the grill, put the Furby on the grill. The Furby was still on, so the man watched the Furby burn in agony as the Furby was screaming, burning, pain, screaming, just, the man just watched. He was very angry. Oh, shoot. So, yeah, the Furby was screaming in agony, like, ah. Soon, all the fur was melted. All you can see is its plastic, is its plastic robotic endoskeleton. The eyes turned off, stopped making noise, and even the feet and the beak and the, even the ears were nearly destroyed. As the screaming of agony, low, um, load and sound, the therapy went from ah! to The man was relieved. He went back home for a second and then went out back to the old lady's house where he got the Furby. When he got there, right at the front door, there was. When he got there, he opened the door because apparently it was unlocked. And right at his feet was the old lady's head. All her body parts. The limb from limb was being pulled by two of their furbies. The man took the furbies, went into the old lady's kitchen, turned on the stove and burned them. It was the same exact reaction as the fur beyond the grill. And the man called the called his people, saying all of his, saying his story, never believed him. Now the man is in an insane asylum. He's being treated at this very moment. Get soft, dirty. It's gonna be if you don't shut up. He's being treated for help at this very moment. But he was released. And then he was. He turned into a Furby. Ah! Oh my god. That's the end of the story. Oh my god. What? That's the end of the story. Oh, who's that? <laughs> not mine, I don't know. Okay, it's I don't your know turn. how to tell three stories. Alright, I, I guess it's my turn. Can I see? Yeah. Alright, so, I'm Lily Nex. Yep, yep, yep. I'm going to be telling the story of the four. I can't see your face. Make the lighting better. There you go. No. 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 Go. I'm going to be telling the story of the four missing girls. So, Um, as you can see, this is based on a story called The Click. It's actually serious. Lighting is bad. Do you not know how to hold the flashlight? There you go. Okay, yeah. It's based on a story named Click. Four little girls were building this treehouse just for the day. You know, just trying to hang out. Best friends. Cleo, Dylan, Lenique and Skylar, running around, just playing around. 
trying to build a nice tree house. Then this man comes. He's talking to them. Mother comes out, thinks that it's a little weird for a grown man to be talking to them. She says something. She says, Hi, nice to meet you. He looks at her. All you see is him pulling his hands to the back of him. As you can see, well, you can't really see it, but as you can tell, as you can tell, he was doing something. He took this knife out of his back pocket, stabbed the mom, put, cut her head off, and threw her arms in the pool. Three, four little girls ran off, ran into the house, told their father. The man vanished. Two days later, he came back. Went after the father, took the father's head, threw it in the pool, kept the father's arms. Three days later, went after their grandparents, took the grandparents, the grandmother's hair, grandfather's legs, and he ate their crispy, saggy old butts. That's actually what happened. <laughs> and then the four girls go off. They're in foster home. Two of them are in the same foster home. Other ones are next door in the other foster home. Hang out every day. Best friends, but are still sad. Two of them are sisters. The other two are sisters. Then the next four days later, they go after the other friend's parents. Took the, did the same thing. Then went after their grandparents and did the same thing. As you can see, the man was a killer. He ate them and burned and put the fire on with water to make the smell go away. When the cops came to his house, there was no clue or no signs that the man actually did it. They was just watching him for a whole month. Come on, go with your mom. Call me. Hold on. Let's pause the story, cause All right, let's go. Why do I got to be last? Black stretchy on my dresser. Mommy's doing it. I can't hear it. Is that your point on here? <laughs> <laughs> Look at that.